Hey, what are we doing? Oh, we're here. I'm going to pick up the sawmill. Yay! And drop off this dirty dog. <laughs> Chris is getting a new toy today. Hopefully, it's not too damaged. Yeah, we'll or, see. It was on the train. Now it was on a truck. So let's go check this out. The man with the forklift has arrived. So in other videos that we've watched people getting their sawmills, the boxes are pretty damaged. So I'm hoping that is not the case because sometimes pieces get smashed inside. Let's go see. It's coming. Oh no. What? Oh. Yeah, it's just the other ball. I wonder if I can get it put on the back. What's that? Did I get it put on the back? Sure. Yeah. Got a little light on the truck. Woohoo! What are you gonna do? Start building. So this is pretty cool. Chris got the HM 126, 14 horsepower, woodland sawmill. And we've been waiting a while. So hopefully the damage is just a superficial box damage. I can't wait to get it home and see what's in the box. So a little behind the scenes, Chris has been building this awesome trailer to put the sawmill on. He's gonna build it right on the trailer. Hopefully we can get it built quickly. And then we just have to wait for the weather to clear up so we can actually get it into the cabin where the logs are. But it's pretty exciting stuff. I'm missing the safety last on my hook. Oh, no. Maybe you should get the truck. Yeah, you should. Holy shit. It's a good crate though. Yeah. It's just this little. It held, it held together mostly. It's a little damaged, but. That's a dog. Oh! I was cut my. Here, did that. I didn't think. I didn't know. It didn't look like it was gonna. It looked a little sketchy. Yeah, it did. It wouldn't be true, Chris Mayer, if it wasn't just a little bit sketchy. That's right. <laughs> It's like Ikea furniture. It is, yeah. <laughs> Some assembly required? Well, they say that all these people build these things, but a uh, good thing for YouTube, because I've learned from their mistakes, that there's a canister on the side of these, on the power head, that help holds your, your instructions, a pair of safety glasses, earplugs. Really? Yeah. That's pretty nice of them to give you some PPE. Yeah. And it's to USA standard. These all iron. It's heavy, hey? Yeah. What did the box weigh? Uh, the crate weighed 946 pounds. I shouldn't say American standard. It's supposed to be a Canadian product. product yeah. That's the only thing that was poking through. 
It's like Christmas. But bigger. And better. Do you have to use the picker to get the head out? I think so. I just don't know how to put on it yet. And I can just lay it down maybe on some. You still want to flip forward because the weight is all on the engine. Mm -hmm. It's weird that the engine's attached, but it's handy. It is less handy. Is it? Yeah. Bummer. It's a little scratched up, he says. Back for warranty. Mm -hmm. Can you spin it more? I'm gonna lay it down on my. Well, we can just lay it down like that, maybe, too. You wanna lay it on its back? That's, yeah. Okay. Let's think. That's the goodie box? Yeah, it's so good. The dog even like to chew on it. <laughs> you looking for hex bolts? <laughs> yeah. Is that what the instruction <laughs> says? Hex bolts? <laughs> no, it said hex head or something. <laughs> what are they? An M8 or a 20? 12 or something. M12? I don't know. Metric 12. How do you know that? Is there a number on the box? That's what it says. But I mean, yeah. on the bulls? Oh, I don't know if it does it me. No. 10.9. 10. 10. That's the strength. Hex bolt. See? Oh, yeah. M12. Is it a metric tape? Is this Canada? Is this Canada? Why is it in millimeters? Eight centimeters. It's probably on your tape measure. Yep. It is too. There. There's a lot of bolts. Right. Are they labeled like the bags? No. How are you supposed to know? They measure them, I guess. Door assembly. Seems legit. Yeah. Handle. There's yeah. a lot of bags. <clears throat> this is kind of the style we're after here. a lot of bags of things. A whole another bag for that. <laughs> well, you sure got your money's worth in bags. Okay, but we're going to have to lift the sawmill up. The head isn't high enough. That's right. You guys, I just found the box with the good stuff. It's got fashion in it. Fashion and safety. It's looking pretty snazzy. So far, How's your assembly doing? It's coming along step by step. Not too bad, hey? Yeah, it's a little scuffed up. It is. Lots of little scuffs on it. It even had like somebody assembled it once. There's washer marks behind there or something. Oh, really? Yeah, I don't know. You can see right here. It's oh. like somebody assembled it. Well, oh, that is weird. Yeah. Maybe we got a gently used one. <laughs> a return. Some needs to be an adult. Maybe. Anyway, so far so good. The instructions are super easy. I mean, we'll see once it's done. If it's actually square and straight. Yeah. They meant to do that. They're trying to change the Thing. 
like Chris has been hard at work. It's got the frame rails mounted. How'd it go? Good. Good? Yeah. Good. It's nice and square? It seems to be, yeah. Everything seems square and straight. What's, the, what's next? Put this head on. This baby. This on there. <laughs> Sounds simple. Yeah, it should be. Boys and girls, <laughs> that's not how it's supposed to roll. Yeah, it's hitting under the blade on the, on the blade guy. This thing right here, because yeah. it's not hooked up yet. Probably never goes that low or what. Well, I just got home from my job. It looks like Chris has been very busy. You got the head spun the right way, so that's good. And the cables yeah. are all run. Yeah, it's coming along really well. First thing you're gonna build, Mr. Mayor? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> A board, I suppose. Yeah. <laughs> A slab. I'll build a slab. A slab? Yeah. The first cut's gonna be exciting. Chris, oh. yeah. it's the moment of truth. Yeah. You think the corner's gonna run? It's the first pull on the new engine. Nobody says anything good about coolers. <laughs> I guess we'll see. Yeah, right. <laughs> okay. Spark Chokes plugs on. in. Chokes on. Fuel's on. Oil's in. Oil's in. Watch me yank my shoulder out. No way. Not bad. She wants to go. Kevin better run the throttle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs>
helicopter tree should we knock down in the yard to try it out? <laughs> like second pull it fired up? It's pretty awesome. Chris wants to cut down trees in our house yard just to try it out, but that's not happening. <laughs> I guess the housework will have to wait for another day again. So I guess we're going to the cabin to have dinner, but there's definitely bigger things I could be complaining about. So here we go. We're gonna try and bring the sawmill down. And last time we went through there was two days ago and we got super stuck. So I hope that doesn't happen tonight. Are you getting close to the moment you've been waiting for? Yeah. Eek! It's looking pretty good. It's exciting. Yeah, hopefully we can get her down there in one piece. Don't I don't reckon anything. Well, it wouldn't be the mayor way if we didn't wreck anything. It should be good for a show. <laughs> oh boy. perfect night. So we got the sawmill brought in and we figured well we'll stay and we'll have some dinner. And then this plane just starts doing circuits on the lake right in front of us so you know us we love that. Chris got the outdoor shower hooked up which is like my favorite thing ever in the whole world. <laughs> so I'm gonna go have an awesome hot shower in the outdoor shower. What a crazy ride it's been getting this sawmill put together and then brought down. But thanks for coming along. There's gonna be tons of videos 
about sawmilling and us learning how it works and learning the tricks. So if you're interested in that, um, be sure to hit the subscribe button. And if you like the video, give us a thumbs up. Thanks. You ready? I'm ready. I see you're starting with a little one. Why? Well, yeah. Well, that's all I can do then. Right. HM126, here we go. Nice. A little faster than the chainsaw. Chris made his first board. <laughs> I was just getting out of the shower and he's like, come down here and check this out. The plan was to drop the sawmill off and then go back to our real house so that we could get some things done there, but I, I don't know. Nobody wants to spend time in real life when you could be doing this. <laughs> real life can wait. We're making lumber. <laughs>